From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Gold! This precious metal is in great demand as financial markets teeter. Here in the sizzling and sweltering heat of the rainforest, men in the Caribbean country of Guyana gamble everything searching for bits of gold. They are looking to share in the more than 200 million U.S. dollars that Guyana took in as revenue from gold last year. But mining gold is tough work, bringing huge risks to miners and the environment. Charles Daniels started prospecting for gold when he was just a teenager. About four years ago, Charles noticed his hands began to tremble softly. He thought it was nothing, but over time, the shaking became worse. They advised me, I could go they advised me to go to Georgetown and see if they could find anything. I had to wait for two weeks. The diagnosis? Mercury poisoning. Charles blamed one thing for his illness. The gold work. I never took precautions. Mercury is used to separate gold flakes from silt during the mining process. A fast and effective tool, if handled carelessly, it can be poisonous. Breathing in mercury vapors causes dizziness and damages the nervous system. Too much exposure could cause death. That mercury has been used in our country for a long time. And I Guyana's health minister, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy. I am certain that it has led to various neurological and other chronic conditions. According to a UN report, an estimated 100 million people in developing countries may be facing health challenges from using mercury in mining operations. The United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, agreed this year to seek a global agreement to monitor the use of mercury. Brenda Kukuk is environmental engineer and program officer at UNEP. The treaty is set to reduce international trade on mercury uh, and to reduce emissions of mercury. To protect its people and the environment, the government of Guyana enacted new laws. Now, miners are required to use gloves and masks when handling mercury. But some miners don't believe that mercury is harmful. Ronald Remy's been mining for more than 40 years in Madia. I've been using mercury from 1960 until now. I've never had any effects from it. If mercury was something against people's health, three quarters of these people would have been dead by now. Mining officers visit every three months. If caught committing violations, miners are slapped with steep fines. For years, miners in Guyana operated without any respect for human health or the environment, says Noel Ramkaran, general manager of Sahadio Mining Company. Well, before then, we normally used to put the gold just in, like, in the, into the pans and burn it and the mercury, you know, and that is not healthy, that wasn't healthy at all, you know. The open burning process allowed mercury vapors to travel for miles, polluting waterways and contaminating fish. But now that's changing. As part of the new rules, gold amalgam is now sealed in a retort or metal container and heated with a blowtorch to evaporate mercury. Its vapor is trapped in a bowl of water where it can't escape. Commissioner at the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, William Wolford. But as a country, we have been encouraging miners to improve their methods. We are promoting responsible mining, and we think the miners are responding. Survival of the gold mining industry in Guyana is critical to its economy and long-term development. Miners, like Remy, will have to abide by the new rules. And for Charles, whose condition has become so debilitating that he can no longer fend for himself, it's too late. 
This report was prepared by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.